What up and welcome to The Cap, the place where we always keep you in the conversation. Today, life in pairs, the Lakers go from lukewarm to Luke Walton and the fastest hands in Philadelphia. All that more, it's time to get capped. Let's go. My dad lives in the Midwest, and one of the things he cannot get enough of, network comedies. One of his favorites is CBS single camera comedy, Life in Pieces. It tells the story of three generations of the Short family, told from the point of view of each character based on their own versions of the events that are happening. And while Life in Pieces might be great, well, Life in Pairs is so much better. Let me explain. First, let's get to the pitch in Houston, where the U.S. men's national soccer team played the biggest game of their life last night against the best in the world, Argentina. And with three suspensions, coach Jurgen Klinsmann chose to play an older, slower lineup. It couldn't have been worse, as the U.S. didn't get a single shot on goal. The Argentinians dominated this game 4-0, and what's worse, they didn't even play their strongest starting 11, and they didn't break a sweat. So how'd they get it done? Well, first of all, they have the natural wonder Lionel Messi on their team. He became Argentina's all-time leading scorer with a goal and a pair of assists. He was involved on three of four goals, and when he had a free kick that he had to bend it like Beckham, he bent it better than Beckham. Brad Guzman had no chance to get to this ball. So now Argentina moves on to the championship game at MetLife Stadium to play either Colombia or Chile, and the U.S. heads to Arizona for the third place game where we have a pretty good idea of where we stand now in the world of soccer. On to baseball. My favorite socks are a green pair from a company called Stance, but the best socks last night were in Beantown, and they were red and white as Chicago took on Boston. In the end, Chris Sale took the mound and got nine strikeouts to pick up his 12th win as the White Sox beat the Red Sox 3-1. On to college baseball, where the College World Series continued in Omaha yesterday, and Texas Tech eliminated the number one team in the country, Florida, as they won 3-2. And over in the other game, TCU beat Coastal Carolina 6-1, and TCU is the only undefeated team besides Oklahoma State in this tournament. Luke and Baker had a huge game, and these Horned Frogs are looking tough right now. In the NBA, after a few lukewarm seasons, the Lakers officially announced their new head coach, Luke Walton, yesterday. Walton said, this is my dream job, and we'll play an up-tempo style offense. And as for the NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers have all but said Ben Simmons is their guy. Last night, Simmons joined late night talk show host Jimmy Fallon, where Fallon introduced him to a city staple, the Philly cheesesteak from Delessandro's. After he took his first bite, Ben said he could live in Philly. It's a good thing because it sounds like he will be soon. And finally today in entertainment capital, Philadelphia Eagle long snapper John Dornbos has enjoyed a great 13 year career in the NFL making over $9 million. But it still must not be making his heart sing because he loves magic too. And in the off season, he travels around doing shows. He recently went on one of the biggest shows of all, America's Got Talent, to see if he really has what it takes. After doing a sleight of hand card trick and mesmerizing judges, Simon Cowell, Howie Mandel, Heidi Klum, and Mel B, they were left completely speechless. So much that he's moving on in the competition. Where he goes from here, no one really knows. But if it's true the NFL stands for, not for long, then it's safe to say that Dornbos' life definitely has a backup plan with a pair of aces. That's it for us today. I'm Brooke Lander and you've been capped.